Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley and I am bringing you part two of my fall decorate with me. But before we get started, I do want to mention that this video is in collaboration with my friend Janet over at Life with Honey. I'll make sure to have all of her information linked down below and I'll be talking a little bit more about her channel later on in this video. So let's just jump right in. I'm starting today's video with a DIY. When I went looking for fall decor, I couldn't quite find anything that matched the vision that I had for my dining area. So I decided to just go ahead and do it myself. I picked up two canvases from Dollar General and I picked up the terracotta acrylic paint from Hobby Lobby. I used to enjoy painting, so I knew that it wouldn't really be an issue doing it. It was just gonna take a little bit of time. So I wanted to start first with this, that way it could dry and I could put it up once it dried and then I will be painting on uh, the canvases. I, I really liked the Hello Fall, but every time that I found one, whether it was Michael's or Hobby Lobby, or I think I saw one as well at Target, it just really wasn't what I was imagining. So I figured that I would just go ahead and do one myself on a canvas, and I feel like it turned out really well. You'll have to let me know what you think once it's done. If you are coming over from Janet's channel, welcome. Again, my name is Ashley and I'm a stay-at-home mom to five girls currently living in Texas. I do enjoy posting a lot of cleaning, organizing, and decluttering videos. And I recently started a decluttering series called From Mess to Less. I'll make sure to have it linked down below in case you wanna check that out as well. But I'm so glad that you're here and I really hope that you enjoy this video. And if you do and you enjoy the type of content that you see on my channel, I'd love to have you join my YouTube family. So please don't forget Forget to leave a comment letting me know you came over from Janet's channel so that I can personally welcome you. For those of you that have not heard of Janet, she's over at Life with Honey. Again, I'll make sure to have all of her information linked down below. But if you enjoy cleaning, organizing, and yummy Mexican food recipes, you will love her channel. So please go make sure you watch her video once you're done with mine. And actually, she just got her bachelor, so make sure you leave her a comment as well congratulating her. I'm sure she would love that. And I've really enjoyed getting to know her a little bit better over on Instagram. So thank you so much for collaborating with me on today's video, Janet. Okay, and back to my canvas painting. You do not need to freehand like I am doing right now. I chose to do this mostly because I couldn't find a template that I liked at Hobby Lobby, but also because I do enjoy painting and I didn't have a problem doing freehand. But again, if it's not something that you enjoy doing and you kind of just want to go the easy route, I totally understand. It really does not matter how you decide to do this. <laughs> I miss you, miss you Take you off, I came your way to strong Cannot keep it low-key Got me drugged, your pheromones hit the roof Auto, your taste and I personally enjoy watching people paint, but if it's not your thing, feel free to skip ahead to the finished product pulling you in closer to me I first you And you're off my radar now I've lost you Telling you that I need you But you're off my radar now Found myself in between the lines Underneath your bed sheets. It started fun But now I'm into deep into this flow A zero sum game that I will lose all right and once i'm done i just need to go and clean up the lines by adding a black outline this is going to take a little bit of patience I need 
you, but you're off my radar now I'm like an outcast from pillar to post There's no denial, I'm chasing ghosts I'm like an outcast from pillar to post Hitting you up, but I'm stuck on hold Is it really a bad reception out there? Where are you heading? Why ain't gravity pulling you in closer to me? Yeah, I lost you Okay, so originally I was going to just leave it as is and have it just say hello fall But when I showed my husband, he said maybe I can add in some leaves or something just to make it match the rest of the decor I thought it was a great idea and I loved the way that it turned out Once I was about to hang it though He did say I could also maybe add in some wisps just to make it look like if the leaves were flowing And I really love the way that that turned out as well I feel like that's what it was missing and I also think you can maybe add in some pumpkins or maybe you can add in some berries so that it has like a 3d touch to it but i love the way that this turned out and i am definitely keeping this for next year's fall decor as well kind of magic. you came into my life and with that bed you give me a lot of my family members already know that we like the rustic decor so one of my cousins gave us this burlap uh, bow I didn't have a place for it at the time so I just had it just hanging on top of our computer area but I feel like this will match the decor perfectly so instead of just leaving it as is I am adding a little bit of the uh, pumpkins and then I'm adding in these flowers just to make it match a little better with the canvases so you'll see here in a minute how it turned out and I think it looks good you'll have to let me know what you think. Okay guys, aside from the burlap bow, the total amount that I spent on this project is $8 and that is including the canvas, the paint, and the pumpkins and flowers that I picked up from the Dollar Tree. But it looks so good in my dining area and I'm so glad that I decided to just go ahead and paint it myself instead of trying to find something that matched. I found this leaf with our initial at Dollar General for only $3 and I thought it would be nice just to add something simple um, to the top of where our TV is at. I didn't really want to clutter the walls so something simple I like this I think looks really good. First of all, I wanted to apologize for the poor lighting. We don't have a ceiling fan or light in the living room. We just have lamps and we are renting, so unfortunately we cannot add one. But I'm adding in the same garland that I used in our kitchen decor. I really do feel like simple goes a long way, so just adding in this garland I feel made a huge difference in our living room. I picked up this Ray Dunn throw blanket from TJ Maxx for $24.99. I know it was a little bit on the pricier side, but I am going to just leave it out for fall. And once fall passes, I can go ahead and just put it up and I'll be using it for next year. But I'm going to have to fight my kids off of this one because it is so cozy. All right, and I picked up these placemats from Dollar General last year during the after holiday sale. These were $2 each and I ended up paying like 75 cents for each of them. I was so excited to put these out this year. These candles and candle wreaths are from Hobby Lobby and they were 40% off. I think I ended up paying a little bit less than $10 for both sets. These ceramic pumpkin salt and pepper shakers are from TJ Maxx and they were gifted to me by my mother-in-law last year. I want 
watch you as you drive Do you know I'm looking And I can't help but smile Do you know how much I love you You put my favorite song on I put my feet up And we just sing along And I can't help but feel it I found this pumpkin patch sign at Hobby Lobby. It was $49.99, but it was 40% off. I know a little bit pricey again, but I am keeping it for next year's decor and hopefully the years to come. And I do think that it matches the decor beautifully. Don't you know that I would? Cause I'm just loving this moment. Can we stay here forever? Forever. Okay, and for our second DIY, we are making a book pumpkin. For this project, you're going to need a scalpel, a pen, a book that I just picked up from the Dollar General store, um, a stick that I picked up from outside, a hot glue gun, some twine, and a cardboard that you're going to use to trace out the shape of the pumpkin. You're going to start off by taking uh, the cover of the book off, preferably a soft cover so it's easier to take off instead of a hard cover, um, and then you're going to use the cardboard to trace out the shape of the pumpkin that you will want and then you'll cut that out to use it as your template Using your scalpel, you're going to start cutting out the shape of the pumpkin from your book. This is going to take a little bit of time, so make sure that you set aside at least 30 minutes to get this done. If you don't have a scalpel, don't worry, you can use some scissors. I actually ended up using scissors halfway through because it was taking a little bit longer, I felt, with the scalpel. So again, if you don't have one, don't worry, you can use scissors to complete this part of the project. You as you drive. Do you know I'm looking? And this is how it should look once you're done. You will now be gluing the stick to the spine of the book. And then once you're done with gluing the stick, you're going to glue the two pages to bring it together and make that pumpkin shape. You never keep them. I'm so sick of the way you let me down. So all my time. You want to kind of move pages back and forth and play around with it until you get the uh, space in between each of the pages uh, that you'd like. I had a little bit of trouble with the side. You'll see here that I'm trying to like spread them out a little bit. Just play around with them and eventually it'll get to where you like it. I'm using the same paint that I used on our canvas and I'm just going to paint the outer pages of the pumpkin. Unfortunately, my battery died so I wasn't able to show you the rest of this process. And then I decided to also add in some of the leaves and some twine to make it look like the vines on a pumpkin. For as long as I can remember, I remember my mom just doing random things like this on a whim. She would add in like ribbons or bows here and there and it just made our 
home so beautiful and I love that I picked up on that from her. I can come up with like random ideas last minute and it just ends up looking really nice I feel. So let me know if you also remember that with your mom and if you are using that now in your home but i love the way that this turned out i ended up picking up that riser from michael's and, and i believe it was on sale for eight dollars This is one of those last minute additions that I was just telling you about. I had some leftover bouquet flowers from Dollar Tree and I had on hand a vase. So I decided to just add in a little flower arrangement on my desk as well as this sign that I had from Dollar General and this pumpkin that I picked up from the Target Dollar Spot. And just something so simple makes it look so beautiful. Oh, don't try. The last little touches that I will be adding are these cute little pumpkins from the Target dollar spot for my daughters. But that is going to do it for this year's fall decor and I am very pleased with how it turned out. This was very inexpensive guys so let me know what you all think and please don't forget to go watch Janet's video and let her know that I sent you. Thank you all so much for stopping by. If you enjoyed this please don't forget to subscribe and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!